hosting a team fair is just to create some awareness for our students. We have some really powerful speakers, uh, just giving our students an opportunity to hear their stories. The, the purpose is to both educate our students and to inspire our students that people can overcome obstacles and lead a successful and healthy life. My life was so messed up that I had evaluated from my mind to my heart, which I mean, I felt like I had rodents, cockroaches, everything. They've all been through like really hard times and struggles in life, but they still continue to like push through. I felt what they went, went through. Like some of my struggles were close to theirs, but not as, as tough as theirs. So it just, it hit me harder. To highlight individuals who've overcome adversity, who've gone through some very rough times, such as teen pregnancy, incarceration, gang involvement, uh, substance abuse. I thought it was right, but I wasn't in my right mind. When I was in my right mind, I knew it was wrong. Uh, setting a bad example for the people around me. You know, some of us have it easier, and we take that for granted. The best thing to do is get somebody that's a mentor. We will later have a pre presentation on cyber trafficking by Opal Singleton, who is a very well-known and respected presenter in the community. The two biggest signs that someone's in sex trafficking is they're very hungry and they're sleep deprived. But them talking about stuff like that makes me feel like maybe I should go to college. We have the chance to start all over and make ourselves better, easier, and they have it hard and they could do it, so we could too. Now they see me now, they see a different person. It took a minute, but hey, hear me, I'm thankful uh, that change is good. Change is always good and it's never too late. From this day on, the trail of blood and tears in my family stops right here. Their struggles are so much harder than mine. So if they could do it, I can do it. 